Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to DS vocals with dynamic EQ and re EQ in Reaper. Now, I've done videos before on DSing vocals where we remove the S sounds so they're not so aggressive in our vocals. And I showed you how to do it with plugins, automation, even automation items. And all those ways still work. But in this video, I want to show you something different. I want to create dynamic EQ and use it as a de-esser. And we're going to do it with re-EQ because it comes with Reaper. Now, the idea of dynamic EQ is it kind of combines a compressor and an EQ and adjusts the gain based on how hard it's being hit. So it's frequency dependent. So let's take a look. I have a project in front of me here with a vocal. Let's hear it. I'm tired of being what you want me to be Feeling so faithless, lost under the surface As you can tell, there's a lot of S sounds in the vocal. So you want to attenuate them or bring them down to make the vocal's frequency more even. Now if we just do this with EQ, it's going to make the rest of the vocal sound dark. So if we use dynamic EQ, it'll just adjust the frequency when the S sounds are too loud, like a compressor. So let's set this up. We'll go to the track effects right here, go to the Reaper effects, and choose Re EQ. And we can remove all the frequencies besides one. And we can set this up to be a high shelving EQ. Although you could also use a band EQ based on the vocal you're using. So now I'm going to find the frequency that needs to be reduced in the S range. I'm tired of being what you want me to be Feeling so faithless, lost under the surface Don't know what you're expecting of me Right about there feels good, but as you notice, it does make the vocal sound dark. I'm tired of being what you want me to be so we just want to use this EQ when he's hitting the S sounds really hard. So now we're going to duplicate this EQ. Copy it and paste it. Then we'll rename the second one. Right down here, rename effects instance. And we'll name it sidechain. As we're going to use this one as a sidechain to trigger the other one. We'll move it before this one. Let's turn this one off. Let's right click right over here and flip the band. So now it's boosting instead of cutting. So we can really focus in on the offending frequencies. I'm tired of being what you want me to be. Feeling so faithless, lost. And we could also add another band. Let's add a high pass filter and cut out. Well, the frequencies down here. So none of them are triggering the dynamic EQ. I'm tired of being what you want me to be. Feeling so faithless, lost under the surface. And we could also do is change this band to be a band filter or a parametric, but we're still going to leave this one the same. So one of the benefits of this method is our sidechain is completely different for what we're cutting or boosting. So let's find that frequency again. I'm tired of being what you want me to be. Feeling so faithless, lost under the surface. Don't know what you're expecting of me. Put under the pressure of walking in, lost under the surface. Right about there feels good. So this is going to trigger our compression on the EQ. So now we'll go to the plugin pin connector right here. And we can see the sound is coming in on one and two and going out one and two. Let's turn this off, add two new channels, and send it out three and four. So now we're not going to hear this EQ. I'm tired of being what you want me to be. We can still use it as a sidechain to trigger this one. So let's turn this back on. 
choose the frequency right here and touch the gain. So it's the last touched parameter and go to the menu and choose parameter modulation, which opens up this dialog and we could turn on the audio control signal or sidechain. We'll set the baseline so it's not cutting or boosting. We can just double click it. We can change this to three and four. So it's going to be a side chain triggering it. We can change the direction to negative so it'll cut instead of boosting. Then we can adjust the attack and release. The attack determines how quickly it's going to react. And the release decides how quickly it's going to stop reacting for a smoother sound. But for DSing, you really want this to be quick. So we'll make the attack really fast and the release as well. We can still adjust it later. Then we'll adjust the minimum volume to adjust the range or how much it's going to react to the incoming sidechain. So let's hear it. I'm tired of being what you want me to be, feeling so faithless. So you can see it's moving right over here. I'm tired of being what you want. But it's moving a bit too far. So you can readjust that with the strength control. I'm tired of being what you want me to be, feeling so faithless. That'll decide how far it moves. I'm tired of being what you want me to be, feeling so faithless, lost under the surface. Don't know what you're expecting of me, but under the pressure. We can still readjust the frequency right over here. I'm tired of being what you want me to be, feeling so faithless, lost under the surface. Don't know what you're expecting of me. What's here before? I'm tired of being what you want me to be. Those S sounds are really jumping out. I'm tired of being what you want. Let's make this a bit quicker. I'm tired of being what you want me to be, feeling so faithless. I'm tired of being what you want me to be, feeling so faithless, lost under the surface. It's a lot more controlled, but it's not making the vocal sound dark. It's only changing the gain when the vocal is really bright. I'm tired of being what you want me to be. Feeling so faithless, lost under the surface. So now one of the great things about this effect is we don't have to set this up each time. We could save it as an effects chain. Just go over here and right click, go to effects chains, and choose save all effects as chain. And then we can name it DSer Dynamic EQ, and then save it. And now if we ever need it again, let's delete this and reset it to two channels. All we have to do is right click on the effects, choose effects chain and choose it right here. And then it adds to this track right away, ready to be tweaked for each vocal you're using. I'm tired of being what you want me to be. Feeling so faithless, lost under the surface. Don't know what you're expecting of me, but under the pressure. So that's pretty much it. That's DSing vocals with dynamic EQ and re EQ in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>